I think um, this is a very um, important topic with um, a lot of debate over the past few years is um, when patients are approaching their final days in their lives, whether they would benefit from receiving um, hydration or nutrition, given that many of them by that time won't be able to drink or eat on their own very well. Um, and um, this is also a very important issue, not just for patients, but also for family members. So we thought that um, you know, it's very important, based on the literature, to look at the potential um, benefits for hydration versus the potential um, side effects. And um, there have been some randomized control trials recently conducted by our group looking at um, whether hydration can help um, people in different ways. Recently, we have um, been looking at um, some of the physical signs of impending death um, in our group, and what we found is that there are some telltale signs um, that um, if we pay attention at the bedside to look at the patient, we can see that um, they may be entering their final days in life with high degree of confidence. So some of these um, may include you know, death rattle, um, respiration with mandibular movement, um, drooping of nasolabial fold, as well as pulses of radial artery. And um, if the doctors can see these signs, then they feel much more confident that the patient will die in the next three days. However, the absence of these signs cannot completely rule out impending death. I think um, given that with hydration there's limited side effects, um, even though there's potential for some more swelling and um, some fluid builds up in the body, this is um, relatively um, minor overall, especially if we are very judicious about this, um, and the possibility of benefit to um, reassure the family that, um, that we are providing good care, I think um, balancing this, I think hydration is acceptable. However, artificial nutrition, whether it's given anterally or parenterally, um, probably would not be advised in this population given that the risk significantly outweighs the risk uh, benefits.